All right, introducing you all to the Zometry Work Center. Uh, this is where you're going to be able to manage your work from both Zometry and your off platform orders. So let's get started with the onboarding screens. So as part of onboarding, you'll be able to add your company name. You'll be able to add your work center URL. Uh, the URL is what will be appear in your navigation bar, and it will be custom to whatever your shop's name is. Also set up your work center with a custom logo for your shop. Uh, we will also provide you with a logo if you, you do not have a logo. You will also be able to add your team members to your work center. Uh, if you already have a Zometry partner account, we will bring in your team members from that account, but you can also feel free to add or remove users directly from this page. All right. So that should complete all of your onboarding steps. Let's go to our work center. So this will be your home page. There's quick shortcuts in order to help you access different parts of the application. Uh, you can create and manage your work by selecting this option here. You can navigate directly to the job board. You can also view your Thomas projects. You can look at your shop finances, you can manage your team members, and also learn more about Work Center by accessing our community pages at the bottom right. As far as within the application, you, there's going to be a few additional pages. You can manage all your jobs by selecting the job management tab. This will enable you to see all your current work, your completed work, and any archived work. Uh, all your current work will be separated by your customer, so any off-platform orders, you'll see your own logo appear on the side. Um, any Zometry work, you'll also see the Zometry logo and the Zometry uh, name as the customer. You'll also be able to see your Thomas projects directly within this page as well. The next page is really your shop finances, so this will all look familiar to you all. You will be able to see all your shop finances. Uh, along with your invoices, transactions, and statements. Additional pages for Zometry partners are the job board, my scorecard, and resources. The job board will work exactly as you are familiar with. You'll be able to view your offer details. You'll be able to provide feedback. You'll also be able to accept your offer. This page will look a little bit different. The accepted job offer page from Zometry's job board will enable you to view all your job details along with your line item details. Uh, but additionally, you'll have this button at the top called manage job. When I select the manage job button, I'll be taken to the new work center job overview page. A lot of the details on this page will look familiar. At the top, you'll be able to see your material received, production started, inspection started, shipping started, but you'll also see a progress bar enabling you to see where the job is in the process. So you can see the percentage that it's been complete, how many tasks I still have to complete, and also any updates to the job completion date. You'll also see all of your help sections at the top for any Zometry jobs. On this page, you'll also be able to see all your line items along with the individual workflows that are associated with each line item. I can either select into each line item in order to track statuses for each of these tasks, or I have the option to complete line items in a bulk action by selecting this check mark here. Let's open up this line item. In this line item, I'm able to see all of the tasks associated with producing this part. I'm able to update the due date. I'm also able to assign all of the tasks within this part to a specific user. I can also click on each individual task. So let's click on source materials. By selecting on an individual, I have the ability to either track quantity by finishing all of the quantity for this particular line item, or I can split track. And what split track enables me to do is mark a certain number as completed, but also enable me to track scrap at the same time. I don't have to do this. However, I can actually just click uh, finish all to update the quantity since this 
task only requires one quantity. So before we do that, let's mark the task status as in progress because this is a task we are currently working on. All right. Now, once I've completed the quantity, I can actually move this task to complete. And what that will do, do is complete all of the quantity for this particular task. When I go back to my line item, let's say I also completed source materials and production of parts as well. Now I'm on the inspect part step. So this step is currently in progress and it looks like I have three required tasks that I need to complete for this task. So if I navigate here, I'll have three required subtasks, including filling out a virtual QC, attaching part media, and also attaching an inspection report. What I can do is click on each of these individual components and drag and drop files directly into this action in order to complete this particular subtask. Once all of the required subtasks are complete, I can change this task status to complete. As you can see, we've been working on this particular job and you can see the progress right here at the top. So it says 50% complete, which means I've completed six tasks. I have four tasks currently in progress and I have three tasks currently to do. I can also select each individual line item to get a better idea of where that particular part is in the process. Once I have a unit ready to ship, all shipping processes should work the same, so you should be able to follow the same shipping process that you currently use for all your zometry jobs. All right, so that's a little bit more about how you would be able to process a zometry job. All right, so additionally on your job management page, you have a couple of additional functionalities. So you can filter by your jobs by selecting the filters option. Uh, for example, I can filter by job type. If I just want to see zometry jobs, I can select this button right here and click show results. What this will do is show me all of my jobs uh, that are only zometry specific jobs. I can also do the same for Thomas projects and also any off platform orders that I have. So let's get rid of this filter now. Also on the job management page, you will be able to access additional filters in order to narrow down this table. I can select the filters button and filter down this table by job ID, job type, job status, ship by date, created date, and job size. So let's filter by job type. When I select on job type, I'll have three options available. I can either filter by zometry jobs, Thomas projects, or off-platform jobs. So let's select Zometry Jobs. It shows that I have eight results that pertain to this filter. When I select the filter, I will now see my table filtered down by just Zometry Jobs. This will be displayed in the customer table, the customer column in this section. All right, let's get back to having no filters available selected. All right, so now let's create a new off-platform job. I can create a new off-platform job by selecting this Create Job button. When I select this Job button, it'll open up a modal which enables me to actually enter job details. So I will be able to enter a job ID, job details, ship by date, and any job level attachments. The job identifier is a required field, so you will need to enter a job identifier before moving forward. I will also be able to add line item details when I create my job. So I will be able to select a line item type. So let's select a CNC part. And then from there, I will be able to add details for my CNC part. I will be able to add a line item identifier, a descriptor, a quantity, a unit price, which calculates the total price based on the quantity and unit price I type in. I can also add additional details and upload a CAD file or a part thumbnail and any engineering drawings relevant for that particular line item. 
The line item identifier is a required field, so I will need to enter that before submitting my line item. In this example, I've entered a part ID and also a quantity of 10 with a unit price of one for a total price of 10 that is calculated. I'll be able to click submit, which will add a line item to my summary of line items. I can either edit this line item and update any details or add a secondary line item to my job. Let's continue to shipping details. When I select continue to shipping details, I'll have information for my customer available to enter here. I can either add a customer name, a customer contact, a street address, any additional unit or building information, city, state, and zip code. All of these fields are optional. I don't need to enter any of these fields if you are not planning to record any shipping details. You can just click skip to review job. If I did enter these details, for example, if I entered Joe CNC shop, I can actually click continue to review job to move on to the next step. When I'm reviewing my job, I'll have all of the details that I entered directly accessible from this window. I'll be able to edit any details from this page by selecting the edit icon. I can also add additional line items as needed directly from this page as well. Once I've reviewed all of the details and everything looks okay, I can select finish creating job.